Hello students, today I want to welcome you to another math lesson and in today's lesson we want to focus on a problem that has to do with cost price, sales price and also percentage profit. Remember you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos and lessons that will be posted and with no further delay, let's go straight into today's problem. And in today's lesson you have a company called GNE, Music and Video Store, DVD Sales. The problem says if you are a non-member of GNE, you will pay $5 per DVD. And if you're a member of GNE, you will pay $15 per year to become a member. And every DVD you purchase is $3 compared to a non member, which will pay $5 per each DVD. So let's go straight into A. The problem has A, B, and C. And so A says Tony bought 30 DVDs and he's not a member of GNE. How much did he pay? And remember, the problem says that when you're not a member, you'll pay $5 per DVD. And if you're a member, then you will pay $3. But Tony is not a member, and he purchased 30 DVDs, so it's 30 times $5. It's $5 per each DVD. Why? Again, because Tony didn't pay that $15 membership fee, so he's not a member. So A is that simple. We're just finding out how much Tony pay for that 30 DVDs at $5. So 5 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. And the problem is solved. Tony paid $150 for those 30 DVDs at $5. Then to continue the problem, we have B. B says... Janet joined G&E and bought 30 DVDs in 2010. Calculate her total cost. So the first thing we need to do is to place $15 here. Why? Because we know that she is a member. So that $15 will be included. And because she's a member, she will only pay $3 per DVD. So those 30 DVDs will be sold at $3. And remember, $3 just for members. And Janet is a member of J and E. So 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 3, 9. So for the 30 DVDs, Janet pay $90 because it's $3 for one plus the $15 here, membership fee. So $90 plus 15 and that will equal to $105. And B is solved. Remember how do we get $105? Janet is a member, so in order for her to become a member, she had to pay that $15. And every DVD she purchased, it's $3 per DVD. And she purchased 30 DVDs. And the 30 DVDs at $3 is $90. And we just add the $15 membership fee. So 90 plus 15 is $105. So to continue the problem, we have C. C says the 60 DVDs bought by Tony and Janet cost G&A $150. What is their percentage profit? Not including membership fee. So remember, in this problem, we're not going to include this $15 that Janet paid. Remember what you need to understand from this problem is that the 60 DVDs that the company got at the cost price, it's $150. So it costs the company the cost price of these DVDs, they paid $150 for it. That's the cost price, not the selling price. Remember, the selling price is what they sold the 60 DVDs for when they sold it to Tony and Janet. So Tony paid $150 for his, and Janet paid $90 for those 30 DVDs. And she became a member, so she had to pay $15 membership fee. But it's very important that when we include Janet among, the problem says not including membership fee. So we need to minus this $15 when we include Janet among here. And of course, it will be $90. Why $90 for Janet again? The problem says do not include membership fee. So remember... The company bought the 60 DVDs for $150 and they sold it to Tony and Janet for $150 plus 
plus $90. So the selling price of the DVD when I sold it to Tony and Janet, when I add $150 plus $90, it will be $240. So remember, the company bought the DVDs, 60 DVDs for $150, sold it to Tony and Janet for $240. If we would have included the membership fee, it would have been $255, but the problem says not included membership fee, and that is why we add $90 for Janet instead of that $105. And to continue the problem, in order for us to find how much profit the company make before we find a percentage profit, it's a sales price, so the profit equals sale price minus the cost price so the sales price minus cost price and that will tell us how much profit the company make so remember the company sold the dvd to janet and tony for 240 dollars and they purchased it for 150 dollars we minus and that will tell us how much profit the company make zero from zero is zero 4 minus 5 can't borrow from the 2 becomes 1. 14 minus 5 is 9. So here, if we can see the sale price minus the cost price, the company make $90 profit. But remember the problem says after you find a profit, you're going to find the percentage profit. And in order for us to find a percentage profit, the formula for that is profit times 100 divided by cost price and remember cost price is what the company bought the dvds for so you, let's use our formula in order for us to solve the problem so the profit that the company made was 90 dollars times 100 remember the formula says profit times 100 over cost price which is 150 dollars so we could cancel out. After we cancel out, we left with 30 times 2. And 30 times 2 is 60%. And again, how did we get that 60%? Remember, we minus our sales price from our cost price. And we know that the company made $90 profit. And in the formula to find the percentage profit that we're looking for is profit times 100 over cost price so we put the profit which is $90 times 100 divided by the cost price which is 150 the problem is solved thanks so much for tuning in look forward for more coming soon remember you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos and lesson that will be posted share with a friend and remember much more coming soon